Yes, gals, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Opa's Vintage Garage. Well, today we got something pretty interesting. We've got another Massey Ferguson sales video. This one is going to focus on the 300 and 3000 series tractors. And uh, these guys are talking up their 100% four wheel drive system. It's a pretty neat old sales video. I think it's from 92. Yeah, 1992. So, again, 300, 3000 series. Uh, some head-to-head -head comparisons. I think you guys are really going to uh, enjoy this video. Sit back, enjoy it. Please comment, fellows and gals out there. I love reading your comments. So, God bless and enjoy. When considering a new agricultural tractor, most buyers generally know the horsepower required to fill their needs. They usually know what hitch and hydraulic systems will best match their implements, and they probably have a good idea of the transmission that will best fit their specific operation. Yet these same customers may wonder if front-wheel drive is a luxurious option or a practical necessity. Will it really help me get more work done in the same amount of time? Aren't there more parts and repairs involved in a four-wheel drive tractor? How can it be more efficient than a two-wheel drive model? I have heard that front-wheel drive increases safety. Is that true? But is it really worth the extra cost? This program will address these and several other questions customers often ask about agricultural tractors equipped with front-wheel drive. During this presentation, we'll take an in-depth look at the advantages of the Massey Ferguson front-wheel drive design and how its unique features compare to competitive systems. You'll see why Massey Ferguson tractors equipped with front-wheel drive are more efficient, more productive, operate more economically, and offer higher safety margins than two-wheel drive models. Also, you'll see that tractors with limited slip differentials are only giving you three-wheel drive and Massey Ferguson tractors with Hydrolock give you 100% four-wheel drive. There are several fundamental reasons why front-wheel drive tractors perform better than two-wheel drive models, but increased traction, improved stability, and positive steering are the primary factors. Traction is a constantly changing relationship between surface conditions, weight distribution, workload, ground speed, tires, and wheel slip. However, a tractor equipped with front-wheel drive always provides more tractive effort than a similar two-wheel drive model with equal power. Here's why. On a front-wheel drive tractor, the ground gripping weight is the entire weight of the tractor, with approximately one-third on the front wheels and two-thirds on the rear wheels. On a two-wheel drive model, only a portion of the total weight, just the weight of the rear wheels, actually affects traction. Front-wheel drive tractors also have four points of powered ground contact and therefore four points of potential pull. This spreads the tractive effort over a wider area and increases the stability of the tractor. The improved weight and power distribution of front-wheel drive provides maximum traction, in fact, at least a 30% increase over a comparable two-wheel drive design. Powering the front wheels also helps them climb through their own tire tracks, as opposed to unpowered front wheels, which tend to push soil out of the way. When turning, powered front wheels help pull the tractor through the entire turn without side slipping and wasting power. According to some tests, the rear wheels of front wheel drive models pull better because the rear wheels have better traction in the firm tracks of the powered front wheels. This means less rolling resistance, more pull available at the drawbar, and higher working speeds are possible. Grip weight is increased. Tractive effort is better. Power available to the PTO is greater. Fuel efficiency is improved. Wheel slip and tire wear are substantially reduced. And steering stability, especially on slopes, is improved. These fundamental engineering benefits give front-wheel drive tractors significant operational advantages over two-wheel drive models. For instance, livestock chores can't always wait for ideal weather conditions. And although extremely wet soil should not be worked, sometimes you can't avoid a few wet spots if most of the field is dry enough to work. 
front-wheel drive substantially improves the maneuverability and efficiency of front-end loader work. And slippery spots, which usually present problems for two-wheel drive models, are no problem for the added traction of front-wheel drive. Here's a graphic example of the advantage of front-wheel drive. The operator is trying to back up with his loader full in two-wheel drive. The tractor is unable to move on the slippery surface. Now he engages front-wheel drive. The tractor has no problem at all with traction and is able to maneuver easily. Rolling ground is easy to handle and sloping ground presents fewer obstacles since front-wheel drive improves stability and traction. In fact, field work on a downhill slope can be performed with greater safety due to improved braking and the power directional control provided by the front wheels. When plowing, front-wheel drive helps keep the tractor properly aligned with the furrow, especially on terraces. And on rough ground, front-wheel drive allows the operator to negotiate obstacles, yet still maintain safe steering control. But is it really worth the extra cost? Front-wheel drive tractors make more efficient use of available horsepower. In most cases, a front-wheel drive machine can handle the work of a two-wheel drive tractor in the next higher horsepower class. That saves you a lot of money before you even get into the field. But we'll show you how front-wheel drive reduces costs in the field. To demonstrate how front-wheel drive can be a cost-saving feature, We'll perform several tasks using a Massey Ferguson 3600 series tractor equipped with a monitoring system called Datatronic. This numerical display allows us to actually see the differences in tractor performance when front wheel drive is engaged or disengaged, which resembles two wheel drive operation. We'll be using a 30 foot cultivator. Starting in two wheel drive, the cultivator depth is four and a half inches. We're able to maintain a field speed of 4.4 miles per hour. Engaging front-wheel drive immediately increases the field speed to 5.1 miles per hour, a 14% increase in field speed. Plus, because of the increased traction of front-wheel drive, we've increased the cultivator working depth to 5 and 3 8 inches, a 20% increase. All this was accomplished without increasing engine RPM. Let's see how many acres we're working. Acres work per hour is 16.6 in two-wheel drive. When front-wheel drive is engaged, this increases to 18.4 acres per hour, a 10% increase. Now, let's look at the fuel used per hour in two-wheel drive, 6.4 gallons. In two-wheel drive, even on this dry soil, the wheels are slipping. See what happens when we switch to front-wheel drive. Only 5.3 gallons of fuel are used per hour in front-wheel drive, a 17% savings. That's a significant savings in fuel costs alone. We know in two-wheel drive the wheels are slipping, but just how much? The display reads 16%. Now let's engage front-wheel drive and see what happens to the wheel slip. In front-wheel drive, wheel slip has dropped to 7 or 8%. Wheel slip has been reduced by half. At 5 miles per hour, that adds up to more than an extra acre per hour. On a thousand acres, that could save you a full day in the field. Fifty dollars or more on fuel for every trip through the field. A similar test was performed on a Massey Ferguson 399 using an aftermarket computer. In every category, front wheel drive increased productivity while reducing fuel costs. And with Massey Ferguson's new 1212 transmission available on the 399 series of tractors, performance and ease of operation is further improved. The front wheel drive shifting is even easier with electrohydraulic control through a dash mounted rocker switch, allowing engagement and disengagement on the move. Another advantage of this electrohydraulic system is the front wheel drive is engaged the very moment the brakes are applied. Additionally, if a loss of hydraulic pressure occurs, the front wheel drive automatically engages. You will also notice on front wheel drive models that by pressing this console mounted rocker switch, both front and rear diff locks are engaged simultaneously. As you can see, front wheel drive helps decrease the time spent slipping and increases the amount of work accomplished, while saving wear and tear on the tractor, tires, and operator. Safety margins are improved, while soil compaction and crop damage are minimized. A front-wheel drive tractor owner increases the productive time each machine performs annually. 
which means you get into the field earlier and in effect this lengthens the working season. Aren't there more parts and repairs involved in a four-wheel drive tractor? It depends. Not every front-wheel drive system is identical. There are two basic designs. One that significantly leans or casters the front wheels, and one that keeps the front wheels almost perpendicular to the ground. Currently, only one major manufacturer utilizes a caster action front wheel drive design. This caster action is needed to tuck the wheels under the longer frame of the tractor to maintain a 50 degree turning angle. Notice how the front of the tractor is pulled left and right, rises and falls as the wheels are turned. This causes a tremendous amount of stress on the tires, front axle and steering system. This caster action is particularly a problem when using a loader. With a bale like this weighing over 1400 pounds, there is even more stress. A full contact front wheel drive design like the one found on Massey Ferguson tractors creates less stress and reduces soil damage. Full tire tread contact is maintained with the ground at all times, which provides better traction through the turns. Although other manufacturers utilize this same basic design, only MF tractors are equipped with a front axle specifically designed for Massey Ferguson. Most competitors install front axles designed by another company. One competitor with caster action is asking a lot from its design, especially in a situation like this. The leverage effect of this 1,400 pound bale is equal to over 13,000 pounds of additional weight on the front of the tractor. See how much left and right movement there is? Remember, the tires, front axle, and steering hydraulic system have to handle this shifting weight in addition to the weight of the tractor. With this immensely strong front axle, Massey Ferguson front wheel drive tractors offer a true 50 degree turning angle while maintaining full tire contact. And some competitors offer a turning angle of only 45 degrees. On larger horsepower Massey Ferguson tractors, the front axle is powered by a centerline drive shaft that utilizes a solid shaft with couplers, no U-joints. While on smaller horsepower Massey Ferguson tractors, the drive shaft runs parallel to the engine. This parallel drive shaft is connected to an offset front differential with U-joints that do not begin to work until 11 degrees of axle oscillation, which means less wear. This whole design improves utility tractor ground clearance, yet still maintains a full 24 degrees of oscillation for improved maneuvering over uneven ground conditions. Notice that in the Massey Ferguson design, the pivot point is at the center of the axle, not above like these competitors. This above center axle pivot design causes the drive line to swing with the oscillations of the front axle. This action robs power that should be going to the front wheels, plus adds more stress to the front wheel drive which can lead to costly repairs. One competitor uses a centerline front differential, but powers it by an offset drive shaft that requires U-joints which are constantly operating and constantly wearing. For better safety and crop protection, each Massey Ferguson front wheel drive shaft is guarded by a shaft shield. This front drive shaft is engaged by a simple and reliable dog tooth clutch. Cab models offer electronic engagement and step models offer a convenient lever. A proven design that smoothly connects the transmission to the front axle, especially when engaged on the go. The Massey Ferguson 3100-3600 series utilize a heavy duty wet clutch pack. As we said earlier, Massey Ferguson offers 100% four-wheel drive, and the competition can only provide at best three-wheel drive in tough conditions. Here's what we mean. Massey Ferguson with Hydrolock provides 100% engagement and 100% release of the differential lock. This means all four wheels are driving. All four wheels are solidly locked with Hydrolock. No clutch discs to slip, which means no wheels to slip. Now, let's talk about the three-wheel drive competitors. These tractors are equipped with limited slip differentials. In tough conditions, a limited slip differential will power the wheel with least resistance along with the rear wheels. This provides power to only three wheels, as the front tire with more resistance forces the differential lock to slip. Limited slip means limited traction. Not all of the torque is transferred to the wheel with the most traction. That's why we call tractors with limited slip differentials three-wheel drive tractors. 
Also, limited slip designs have clutch plates. As time goes by, these clutch plates wear out, which minimizes the limited slip effect, causing even more wheel slip, and eventually costly repairs. The Massey Ferguson Hydrolock front differential provides a positive lock when required since it's actuated automatically whenever the operator engages the rear differential lock. This gives the operator total control of power and torque to all four wheels, significantly improving traction in tough conditions. Hydrolock has the benefit of 100% engagement to transmit all the power for true four-wheel drive in any condition and 100% disengagement. When not engaged, Hydrolock operates like a conventional differential. This avoids scrubbing and tire wear on a firm surface associated with limited slip differential systems. And Hydrolock has no clutch discs to wear or replace, so this innovative system does not lose power to the wheels when turning. As you have seen, front wheel drive can be a very practical option. In fact, on many jobs, front wheel drive allows your Massey Ferguson tractor to do the work of a larger horsepower tractor. When equipped with front wheel drive, your tractor can get into the field earlier, which gives you more control over specific cultivation practices and the timely application of fertilizers, herbicides, or pesticides. Front wheel drive helps you to get more work done in the same amount of time, from the same amount of fuel, and the same amount of effort. That's why a tractor equipped with front wheel drive can maintain a higher resale value than a similar two wheel drive model. And only Massey Ferguson blends all of the best design features into a proven front wheel drive system. A full contact front wheel drive design with true four wheel traction. Efficient high clearance drive lines. Simple yet positive engagement. The superior Hydrolock front differential lock. Massive high capacity front axles. Up to 50 degree steering angles and on most models, automatic front wheel drive braking. A simple and effective system, all designed to give the operator total control of the power delivered to all four wheels. Massey Ferguson tractors, equipped with front wheel drive, continue to set new performance standards, new durability standards, and new standards in customer satisfaction. When you're ready for a tractor that provides better safety margins, improved stability, outstanding traction, and better fuel economy, take a good hard look at the total value of front wheel drive from Massey Ferguson. We think you'll agree that no other tractor manufacturer provides anything close to the total performance built into Massey Ferguson tractors equipped with front wheel drive.